What's happening, everyone? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here today, guys. I'm very excited to dive back into the 90s past with you all while we talk about the absolute Wildcats release from DC Comics. Um, of course, I'm very excited about this. It's a big Jim Lee book. It's a book that I had to try a few times to get into. We're going to finally talk about it because I managed to finish the entire thing. Um, so let's dive in. Before we get crazy with the 90s action, let's reach into our pouches and hit that subscribe button. If you're a comic fan, we are a channel for you. We discuss hardcover releases, um, upcoming comic books, review comic books, anything comic book related, we are the place to check out. Be sure to hit that like button as well. It really helps us when we get that thumbs up. Um, we're also sponsored by a company called Dr. Squatch. There is a subscription soap service that um, Matt uses. I do not personally use it yet, but it's a subscription service with the link down below in the description. You will get free shipping for life with your subscription. Also, be sure to check out our Patreon. We do giveaways based on the donations that our patrons give us. Um, we're going to be kicking off our first one in a couple weeks here, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, it's patreon.com slash the hardcover comic. Um, but let's talk about Wildcats. So in front of me, I've got the Absolute by Jim Lee, of course, with the slipcase containing the new artwork by Jim Lee, specifically for the Absolute release. Um, this book contains pretty much everything Jim Lee did on the title. So you get like the first 13 issues along with um, a few issues of Cyber Force as well that tied in with the Wildcats series. And then you get, I think, uh, a bits, bits and pieces of issue number 50 where Jim Lee came in again. You get X-Men and Wildcats, the crossover written by Chris Claremont with artwork by Jim Lee. And you get the one issue of Wildcats that Grant Morrison wrote that Jim Lee was able to pencil and get done. You also get scripts for other issues, but we'll get into that a little further when we look at the book in closer detail. Of course, this was a huge title in the 90s, um, back when Wildstorm Universe was taking place. And, uh, you know, it's a book I tried to get into multiple times. This was my third time that I was finally able to get into it and finish the book off because I'm not a huge fan of, of 90s style comic books. While it's really cool to see Jim Lee's artwork in big, absolute format, the story is still a bit bland for me. Um, it's very 90s, so you've got a lot of action. Um, jumping from one fight scene to another with characters sort of having a lot of dialogue and inner monologue, but a lot of it is just repetitive, saying the same thing over and over again, sort of like, um, this is our last stand. If we don't make it past this, there won't be a Wildcats team anymore. We got to get out of the frying pan because the heat's getting too hot. And that'll be like literally a you know, a, a one page of monologues, sort of saying the same thing over and over again. But um, overall, what you get with the plot line in the first, you know, 13-ish issues, you get introduced to the Wildcats team. So you've got Grifter, you've got Voodoo, uh, Zealot, Ripclaw, Maul, Spartan, um, who else is in there? Uh, Void is in there as well. And then, of course, you've got Jacob Marlowe, who is the sort of the the funding power behind the Wildcats. And of course, what's happening in this Wildstorm universe is you've got all these covert um, operative teams. Of course, Wildcats stands for Wild C-A-T, Covert Action Team. I believe something cheesy like that. You've got a whole bunch of acronyms back in the 90s comic books. A lot of, uh, you know, it's a lot of behind the scenes action. You've got all these teams that are fighting that the world doesn't know about. They're doing it all secretively. Um, you've got Daemonites coming in. Um, attacking the the world as well. There's a lot going on, and you know it crosses over, like I said, with Cyber Force a little bit. A lot of the names of the characters are very forgettable because they're just sort of uh, either a noun or an an adjective or a verb, and it's it's super simplistic. Um, but it's it's fun. It's fun. There's a lot of fantastic action. There are a lot of four page spreads we're going to take a look at here. Two page spreads that are fantastic. It's all Jim Lee artwork. And, um, you know, despite the fact that I didn't enjoy the 90s stuff particularly, it was cool to see Jim Lee return over years and years to see how his artwork had progressed. And if there's anything this Absolute Edition did for me, um, I'm not, it's not something I'm going to reread or, or rush to recommend to anyone that isn't already a fan of 90s. But 
it will make me regret the fact that we are never going to see Grant Morrison's Wildcats because the first issue that Grant Morrison and Jim Lee did was so good. Um, it made fun of the fact that the 90s were the 90s, but it started off hot, hot as fireman, and I was really hoping we would get to see more. Of course, you get the script for number two, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, overall, if you're a fan of the 90s, this is a huge book for you. Um, this is, you know, the epitome of what the 90s were. And while I may not like the absolute Wildcats content, I do like some of the books that spawned from the Wildstorm universe, such as Stormwatch and The Authority by Warren Ellis. Some of my favorite superhero material. But guys, we're get, what we're going to do now is we're going to take a closer look at the book. I want to show you guys some of these massive multi-page spreads and um, take a look at the artwork a little bit. I do want to fawn over the Grant Morrison issue a little too because it's, it's so cool. So cool. So let's take a closer look at the book. All right, everyone. So first off, let's take a quick look at the slipcase here because this is brand new Jim Lee artwork from 2017. So not exactly brand new, but, uh, you know, when, it, when the, the book was released, this was something new that Jim Lee did, especially for the Absolute Edition. Looking real nice there. Um, so let's take a look at the book itself. Um, it's a it's a very lovely book. Um, if you're a fan of Jim Lee, this is the book for you because it's absolutely overflowing with Jim Lee artwork and appreciation. Um, you know, you got the whole Wildcats team there being shown off. Of course, you get the ribbon bookmark as you do with DC Absolute Editions. Um, so let's take a little closer look at what we got in here. Like I said, it's got, you know, um, a good sequence of issues and then it sort of jumps around. So as you can see here, you get um, pretty much one through nine on this first page, along with some cyber force issues. Um, and then you do get up through 13 of Wildcats and then um, issue number 50, Wildcats X-Men, the Silver Age crossover. You get um, number one by Grant Morrison and then the script for number two. Um, so, you know, we'll flip through the artwork a little bit. Of course, it's great Jim Lee artwork. I think this was all recolored though. So I know um, a lot of people are not too happy about that, but it looks good. It pops off the pages. Um, there's a lot of respect for Jim Lee's artwork here. Of course, you get these um, vertical spreads that you sort of need to turn the book to read. And honestly, because of that, it's not necessarily the most comfortable uh, way to read Wildcats um, because you do have to move things around once in a while. But it looks really cool. Um, you know, if you're a big fan of the 90s, this is a no brainer for you because it's oozing with 90s, 90ness. Um, but, you know, in terms of the plot line itself, you know, you got, you got Jim Lee and Brandon Choi doing the writing. Of course, Jim Lee penciling. The story is. <sighs> you do get to, you know, you get some character backgrounds. You do build a connection to these characters, but um, it's very cheesy. It's very much one action scene to the next. You know, it's not a comic that you're going to think about once you're done reading it, but you'll definitely enjoy the ride while it's happening. Um, I, I did enjoy the series while I was reading it. It's fun, but like, you know, I'm, it's not something I'm going to reread after having read it already once. Of course, I do love Jim Lee's artwork and it's nice to look at here, but he has gotten far better with age. And um, there are times where, you know, there, there are feet missing or the feet don't look great. And again, I'm no artist. Jim Lee's always going to be better than anything I can even aspire to be. But, uh, you know, it's, it's got the 92. It's got the 90s, 90ness to it. Um, you know, all the women are bikini models. And um, there are some really cool things within this book, though. You know, you get to see, uh, maybe I'll, I'll get to it here. I will say some of the character designs are actually pretty damn cool. It's also cool to get to see sort of the background and the history of this universe because I didn't know much about it. And um, as a new Wildstorm reader, I was able to get into the universe through this book. So if you're if you want to try this out and you've never read anything from the Wildstorm, this is a good place to start. And um, here we go. We're going to get to a four page four page spread here. Sorry. So you got these two pages here and then they just open up to four pages. Let's, let's pull this back here, which is pretty damn impressive in absolute format. 
Um, and this isn't the only one that happens, but this is one of them. I'll try and find the other one in a second here for you guys. But that's some of the, you know, some of the cool factor of this book. All right, so the second four page spread here. Um, check this bad boy out. Boom. Ripclaw and I think Mercy going at it here. Pretty damn cool. Pretty, pretty damn cool cool if you guys didn't know that was a thing with this book welcome welcome to 2017 when this was released um really cool i'm uh, again i really do enjoy the artwork here let's take a quick look at the binding um while we can there's a really cool two-page spread for you guys um from uh from Cyber Cyberforce, I think that's Mark Silvestri doing the artwork there. There's um there's some fun stuff that happens in here though, like uh, you get to see a couple characters go out on a cruise, and while they're on that cruise, they run into pretty much Gene and Cyclops. Um, there's a lot of fun little stuff in there. You know, this was around the time of that Jim Lee uh, '90s X-Men. There we go. So you got Voodoo and Spartan out on a cruise here, and you can see. Jean Grey and uh, Scott Summers here pretty much hanging out. It's a fun book. So let's take a quick look at the binding here, guys. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm rambling. I'm rambling. But the binding is really, really nice. The book stays open relatively well, and you do not lose much in the gutter. Um, let's take a quick flip to the back here, because the back is where the magic happened for me. Um, the Grant Morrison issues where he goes through the timeline sort of this is this is after the authority by Warren Ellis this is the one issue you get with Jim Lee penciling um, oh man it's so good and uh, the artwork is definitely phenomenal you can see how much better Jim Lee has gotten with time uh, during this issue but there's a really really nice Damonite page here I do want to show you all um, I mean look at this this is just prime Jim Lee like this is a movie you're watching um hap unfolding right on the pages in front of you this is beautiful I'm my biggest regret after reading this is that we're not going to get to see what would have happened with this this grifter page man all oh, the way Jim Lee makes grifter move you go from this sort of ooh scary panel to this flash of movement it's so well done and then you've got this german demon um sort of narrating saying grifter is here all this grifter is chaos oh dude it's so good i wish we could have seen the rest of this but it gets into the bonus content here pretty much folks where you get the script for issue number two so you can visualize it but of course it's never the same as seeing what Jim Lee would have actually done with the book um in the back here you get some more cover artwork um various variant covers and different titles and different artwork that Jim Lee did for the Wildstorm universe. Um, it's it's cool. Again, if you're a big Jim Lee fan, you should get this if you haven't already. Um, it's readily available on Amazon and um, wherever else you may get your hard covers. This is not an out of print absolute by any means. So pick it up um, while you can. It's really cool. You get some uh, original um, page scans here as well, some character designs, not only from the original years, but you get to see the new 52 designs for a lot of these characters. Um, one thing I didn't see in the flip through was the X-Men Wildcats crossover issue, but that's in there as well. Of course, I didn't get into every single detail with the story because I don't want to give away every detail. Not that there's much to give away, but um, here's some original scans from uh, covers that Jim Lee did so it's very very cool for the Jim Lee fans you must get this book but all right everybody that's going to be it for me Mike from the hardcover comic here be sure to subscribe if you haven't already we post content daily be sure to hit that like button as well um, it really helps us out a lot folks a lot a lot lastly check out our patreon as well as Dr. Squatch there are links down below for Giveaways on our Patreon coming very soon, as, as well as free shipping on your Dr. Squatch subscription provided by the Hardcover Comic. Thank you all very much. This was Mike from the Hardcover Comic. And until next time, as always, you stay classy, Internet.